kind of like go after the whole dinosaur terrorist. Yeah. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. All right. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to survive the zombie apocalypse. Because I mean, this is your life on the line. This is an important thing. So first things first, you need to get to a safe spot. Not I mean, nothing, just temporary. Nothing, nothing permanent. Just immediate safety. So get to maybe a house. Clear it out. Make sure that place is nice and zombie free, where everyone can just chill and you should yeah. get into some deep thought. <laughs> Time to assess our situation. What kind of situation are we in? Are we in a 28 days later zombie steroid type deal where they can like run a 4-2? Or are we, are we dealing with kind of slow, <laughs> decaying loser zombies? That's important information to know. So, and then also assess, is this a local issue? Is this a global? This is important stuff. If it's local, I'll just get out of Cape May. Who cares? Is it, is it national? Is it global? Important stuff? No. For this sake, we're going to stick with the really slow decaying zombies going off Obviously, the true kind. And then we're going to follow the global issue. And now, first things first, you need to arm yourself. See, now this is all dependent upon you. I can't tell you what to use. I, I don't know your skills. I don't know anything like that. Look at Jesse. He's a rather larger man than <laughs> David. <laughs> Yeah, muscle. Look at that. Muscle. You didn't say muscular. I'm comparing you to Sabrina. Comparing you to Sabrina. Did he just say that? Oh my god. Alright, so Jess is a large man. Then Sabrina. You can be the small female. So, see, Jesse, with his muscle tone, could rock something like a baseball bat, and he could crack skulls with that all day. I would not want a baseball bat. I'm just. He could easily have dispatch zombies with something such as a baseball bat, something like a hammer. I don't know. Not well, she she might struggle with that type of thing. I don't foresee any skull damage from a baseball bat there. So maybe she would want to use something like a knife. Maybe like maybe like a knife or something. Go right for the eye. Yes. Did like guns just become extinct? Well, you got to keep in mind those make noise, and zo noise is attractive zombies. Silence. So that's why I'm. I'm still, on the, weapon the weapon topics. I'm still on the weapon topics. I'm still on the weapon topics. Now, when it comes to ranged weapons, bullets and guns, that's a temporary thing. You run out of bullets. Mm. And even worse than that, they're not silent. I don't know if you guys have ever seen The Walking Dead. You shoot, boom, pour it all around you. It's, it's, it's an end all. So what you want to do? Other ranged weapons. A crossbow. Look at Daryl Dixon. Man's a beast with a crossbow. <laughs> Savage. Crossbow, ultimate ranged weapon. Done. And now. <laughs> now, after this, you gotta pick your desired area. Where are you gonna go? Maybe you're safe where you are. Likely not, though. So, where are we gonna go? I don't know. It depends on your circumstance once again. Most of you will probably wanna head to uh, perhaps Canada. Let me give you why. <laughs> See, zombies freeze in the cold, zombies don't have blood flow. And so says The Walking Dead, very reliable source. Um, zombies actually freeze in the cold, and therefore, Canada's a cold place. They're not going to make it. They'll freeze. Other areas that might be good, go tropical. They're decaying. Tropical areas, they'll decay like, like it's nothing. And that'll just shorten the amount of time that this apocalypse is going on. Tundra, you're going to have a while. And it won't be dangerous, but it's going to last a while. The things aren't going to decay in the cold. Now, now. When you pick your desired area, you got to think about how can I defend it? How can I find food, water? All these things are very important to your survival. So, when you're picking, you might maybe you want to get you're like I do, done. I know this building with a fence. There's fences. Done. Maybe not. You got to think of this stuff ahead. But then, when you finally get there, when you get to your safe spot, you start playing the waiting. That's right, because zombies decay. So you give it time, they're dead. Just give it a year? I don't know. Seven years of decay? Seven We're on the tundra. We're in this is the tropical situation. Okay, okay. Yeah. They're decaying. 